Like me, when you burn food in old school RuneScape, you probably just drop it on the ground. But you may be surprised to know that a lot of food is worth far more money when you actually burn it. In fact, some types of burned food are worth millions of GP every single piece. So my friend Chris, who also does money making guides, and I'll link his channel below, sent me prices that people pay for burned food, so I could test out just how profitable it was, and within 10 seconds of receiving it, I already knew that they were paying too much. Since there isn't an actual use for burned food in the game, the prices are normally dictated by how hard it is to burn or obtain an item. So, to beat these prices and make them more profitable than they should be, all we needed was a few ways to make burning the high priced items a little bit easier. I picked the three I thought would be the most profitable using these methods and that was rabbit in the 7.5k bracket, snail in the 5k bracket and bread in the 2.5k with a very sneaky tactic. With all of these methods we are going to lower our stats so it doesn't matter what cooking level you are. The reason rabbit is the second highest burn price is because it has to be roasted which requires adding a spit. The spit and the rabbit are tradable on their own but together they aren't so you have to prep them yourself. It's pretty simple but it does take time which is why they pay the 7.5k for each one you burn. And you get the spit back afterwards so they don't cost you anything at all and 1000 raw rabbit cost me 167k. It took me around 16 minutes to skewer 1000 of them then I went to the ice path on Trollheim which lowers your stats until my cooking was down to 16 which is the lowest level you can be to cook roast rabbit. You want to get your level as low as possible because that way you burn the most amount of food. That took another 9 minutes and I then used the ring of dueling to castle wars to cook the rabbit although I realised midway through doing this it's better to use the birth up rogues den as there's a fire there that you can use to save having to light a fire yourself. After I had cooked 200 of these my cooking level had gone up from level 16 which has a 32% chance of burning to level 27 which has a 27% burn rate. I then went back to Trollheim to lower my stats once again. You may find staying for longer is slightly better or worse GP per hour. This was a rough guess by me as to the ideal number to go to before lowering stats but it won't affect the profit by much anyway if it's out slightly. I reset the stats every 200 I cooked and it took me just under an hour and a half to cook 1000 of them. Out of those I burned 307 which at 7.5k each are worth 2.3 million GP and was getting around 45,000 cooking XP per hour. When you add in the price of the cooked rabbit and take away the cost of raw rabbit it worked out at 1.48 million GP per hour. Not a bad start at all for something that gives you XP at the same time but not the one I expected to be the most profitable. Next was snail meat which although sells for a lower price of 5k each piece doesn't need to be skewered and has a burn rate of 48% when you're at level 12 which is again the lowest level that you can be to cook it. That's around 10-20% to higher burn rate than almost all of the other high priced food. The only difficulty with snail meat is not a lot of people kill snails but it put an offer into the GE for 1000 of them and they all bought instantly. I did exactly the same method for snail meat but this time cooked 250 each time before lowering my stats again in Trollheim. My cooking level is 89 so I lose almost 5 minutes every time I need to lower my stats but anyone with a lower cooking level will make even more money by not having to spend so much time there. It took me just over 1 hour to cook all of the snail meat and I burnt 398 which meant a burnt rate of 40%. In theory I should have burnt more but there is still an element of RNG with this. The cooked snail meat was worth a bit more than the cost of all the raw meat meaning this method was just over 2 million GP per hour. It's crazy to me that you can make just as much money cooking low level food as you can doing the chambers of Zarek or the gauntlet and twice as much money as catching black chins or killing brutal black dragons. The last food I wanted to test was different to the others because in theory you only have to go to Trollheim once but it's more reliant on RNG. The Burn Community by Burn Bread, a level 1 food for 2.5k each one you burn and if you've even cooked bread at level 1 or if you ever watch Link and Rog's challenge videos you will know how many times you burn the hell out of it. That's because it has a 54% burn chance at level 1 but the burn rate drops pretty quickly as you go up levels so keeping it low is massive in this method. So after getting my stats down in Trollheim this time I teleported to Castle Wars and went south. There you can fight Skogas and these can inflict a disease on you that lowers a random stat every 15 seconds. In theory keeping my cooking level close to 1 without having to go back to Trollheim. 
The disease starts off by reducing a random stat by 10, and then gets lower over time similar to poison. It also stops what you are doing, making it less AFK, as every 15 seconds you have to click on the range again to keep cooking the bread. This method and truth worked as well as I could have hoped, but I was definitely lucky with the resets and my cooking level never went above 10. When the number the disease reduced my stats by got low, and my cooking level got between 6 and 8, I would go back to Castle Wars and get diseased again. Unlike Trollheim, this only takes around 30 seconds to do. The only other downside to this method is each time the disease reduces your cooking, it actually reduces it to level 0 instead of level 1. That means even with Rapid Restore on, it can take up to 30 seconds to go back to level 1, and you can't cook in the meantime. I was very, very hopeful of this method with a high burn rate and less time going to Trollheim, but the 1000 bread actually took just as long as the 1000 snails because of all of those interruptions and the stat drain to level 0. I did however burn a very nice amount of 514 bread, which is 51%, but at 3k each that only works out at around 1.4 million GP per hour once you deduct the costs. But since that can be cooked at level 1, I guess in all honesty it's still a very good money maker. So the best method was 2.1 million GP per hour, which is far more than I think the burn community realise, as their intent isn't to create good money makers, but to collect items that they don't think are worth people's time making them deliberately. And if you want to do this method, you can sell the burnt items in the Discord or bulks in the non-GE section. Just post what you have in there, and this was the latest price list, which by all accounts is pretty stable and rarely changes. And after all that, who knew that burning a load of food would actually be a good thing. You do seriously surprise me. Thank you, chef. Thank you. You surprise me to how sh you are.